So when you first arrive at Incheon Airport, here are the things you need to do. So if you need money, this is where you go, exchange. But you always have to look out for a global ATM because this is where you can withdraw money with your credit card. If you need a SIM card, just go to a convenience store where you can buy a SIM card. Or if you have ordered one online, you can also pick it up right at the airport. If you want to get from Incheon Airport to Seoul, there are three ways you can do it. First one is the shuttle bus. You can either buy a bus ticket via the self ticket box or if you need some personal help you can buy the bus ticket at the bus ticket office. Another way to get to Seoul is via taxi. And if you walk past the bus station, if you walk past here on the second street, this is where you can find taxi. The taxi from Incheon Airport to Seoul might cost you around 60,000 to 7,000 depending on your destination in Seoul. And the last option to go to Seoul is via the airport train. Here. Here. And for that, you just need to go down. I would highly recommend you to buy a transportation card that you can charge up at any convenience store. Only charge up your transportation card via cash and you can use it throughout your trip in Korea. If you don't want to take the general alt stop train, you can also get the express train, which is actually only 10 minutes faster, but you get the comfort of having less people and less crowded space and it could make your travel a little bit easier and it's on the opposite side. So and this is how you navigate the Incheon airport and get to your destination in Seoul. If you like this video hit the like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything and don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter where I send out a weekly guide on how to live in Korea. Bye bye.